This is Troll Rocks near South Shields on what appears to be one of many old relics dotted along Britain's coastline. On the surface it's just an artillery gun looking out to sea, but this gun is better than that. It actually disappears when it needs to be reloaded, vanishing from the clifftop as if by magic. And it was one of the first of its kind, an experiment in artillery technology designed to save the lives of the men operating it. The northeast coast of England is one of the most beautiful and yet least visited bits of Britain's coastline. A place of long sandy beaches and ragged cliffs and coves that look out onto a wild and tempestuous North Sea. But like all parts of the coastline, the northeast is rich in history. It was from across this sea that Britain's most significant invasions have occurred. The Angles, the Saxons, the Danes and the Norse. A thousand years later, and England seemed a much more solid, uninvadable nation one of the most powerful in the world. But with the rise in artillery technology, the North Sea seemed a vulnerable place once more, and populated as it was with large industrial centres like Newcastle, Sunderland and Middlesbrough, it became a vital part of Britain's coastline defence strategy. It also became a good place to experiment with new ideas. The Troll Rock's disappearing gun holds a fascinating place in history as a relic of coastal defence strategies employed during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Disappearing guns were a key component of coastal fortifications, designed to provide protection against enemy vessels and enhance the security of important coastal areas. The concept of the disappearing gun originated in the mid 19th century as a response to advancements in artillery technology. To address this issue, engineers developed a novel mechanism that allowed guns to be hidden from view when not in use, and quickly raised into a firing position when needed. The Troll Rock's disappearing gun was one such installation constructed as part of the coastal defence network along the northeastern coast of England. The principle behind a disappearing gun was simple yet effective. The gun was mounted on a carriage that rested on a circular platform situated below ground level. In the firing position, the gun and carriage were raised above the parapet by hydraulic or counterweight mechanisms, allowing it to engage targets. Once fired, the recoil caused the gun and carriage to roll backward and return to the lowered position, becoming concealed from view behind the parapet. There were many different designs to get such guns to work. The one at Troll Rocks had the steel platform floating on water, raised and lowered by air pressure using pumps. The 6 inch gun mounted on the platform was tiny compared to others tested elsewhere. Sadly, the Troll Rocks gun never made it past a 2 day trial, taking 8 hours to return to its starting position after firing. Instead, other designs elsewhere worked better and this one was just abandoned. It was never used in action and was decommissioned in 1894. The replica here was installed in the 1990s. Disappearing guns had their limitations though. As technology advanced and naval vessels became faster and more heavily armed, the weapons gradually lost their effectiveness. The increasing range of naval artillery made it difficult for coastal defences to engage targets beyond a certain distance. Additionally, the development of aircraft and aerial bombardment posed new challenges that traditional coastal defences were ill-equipped to handle. As a result, disappearing guns eventually fell out of favour and coastal defence strategies shifted towards more flexible and mobile systems. By the mid-20th century, advances in military technology rendered these once formidable fortifications obsolete. Today this replica at Troll Rock stands as an indication of the rapid innovation from the pre-World War period. While disappearing guns like this one eventually became outdated, their legacy endures as a testament to human ingenuity in the face of evolving military challenges. 